What did landing the Newgrass job uh, mean for you at the time? What, what were you going through personally, musically? What were you looking for? And did, did you stumble into that? Was it like, oh my God, this is my dream job? I certainly wasn't looking for that. I was, you know, I was working in a car wash in Louisville, Kentucky, Louisville to you folks that are not from the South. And uh, I was in a band uh, at that time and we were like a yes, an um, imitation of yes, in fact, our name was you. <laughs> but so that tells you a little bit about what I was up to musically. But I'd actually had seen the Newgrass Revival probably six to eight months prior to that. And it's funny because I started playing music uh, in Kentucky. I grew up in Louisville, um, but I never heard bluegrass. I didn't know. The only thing I knew is that I had the Will the Circle Be Unbroken album. And I knew a little, just a bit. So um, I had a, we, the guys in the Newgrass Revival at the time and, and I had a mutual friend that was from Bowling Green that was a rock musician named Ken Smith. Um, and they were looking for a bassist and he said, I know this kid up in Louisville. So they called me and I drove down to Barron County, Kentucky, which is central western Kentucky and it was a culture shock for me <laughs> and it musically it was culture shock and then otherwise it was as well even though they were hippies they were real country guys like I'm, I met him in a gas station and I remember the, the banjo player Courtney Johnson pulled up in a like a 68 Malibu Super Sport with chrome reverse wheels on it and uh the back end of it jacked up and I thought, wow, Thunder Road, here we go. <laughs>